we're doing a little testing. Hey, welcome back to AC Auto Carts. Today, I thought that we would talk a little bit about windshields. I started a little project a couple of weeks ago where I, we buffed the top side of my buddy's uh, Yamaha G something or other. Uh, and this windshield needs, to, needs a little bit of work to bring it back around. I got a brand new one. We'll talk about how to maintain that and then discuss real quick what I did with the original windshield that came on my golf course used club car precedent. Let's get rolling. So I'm on good old Ron Burgundy here. This is a windshield that came with the cart when I bought it. It was fresh off of a golf course. Uh, it was faded. It wasn't in the best shape. I bought the tinted one that went on the white cart that we just finished this spring. Uh, but when I was riding around at night, I didn't love the tint and I felt like it was too dark. And with this being a 30 mile an hour cart, I leave the top up a lot. I don't take it down that often. Um, the factory windshield, I buffed it, which we're going to talk a little bit about today, and I've been maintaining it with um, detail spray, meaning I'm not using an ammonia-based, get that to focus, an ammonia-based uh, glass cleaner. That is a definite no-no. This particular windshield, I put this little piece of 90 degree in here because with the way that the roads are around here, this was bouncing around so much that it was hitting my body. So when I originally built it, I stuffed a towel in here because it was scratching. Um, I'll show you guys what that piece looks like real quick. I took a little piece of angled aluminum, just like this. I put a little notch so it would fit here. And it's bolted into the factory hole that holds these precedence windshields. Took that with a little bit of rubber. So there's rubber sandwich in between. Right? That's what this is. And then I, I did put a hole in it in the center to keep it from bouncing. And then I did screw, put a screw here. And all of that is to try and silence this windshield when I'm, you know, ripping around. But that being said, still in good shape. I haven't you know, buff this for about a year and a half. I've just been maintaining it with a couple of automotive detail products. I am not sponsored in any way by any of these things. This is just the detail stuff that I use on my truck, on my car and so forth. So I've been using it on the cart as well, but this is speed shine. Um, it's really for paint, but because this is a plastic, I don't want to use an ammonia based cleaner. And Windex is going to get into glass. This is not glass. So I like to keep them, you know, this has a lubricating factor for paint and it works good on this glass. And most of the time it's pretty streak free if you buff it out the right way, but it's not like you don't use it any different than a Windex, right? Um, so if this is in between using that, using a hose type wash, this is kind of the stuff I use. And, you know, the body is pretty dusty. So if it's just, pollen it's been sitting in the garage and it's that pollen time of year can do really the whole thing with it uh, the other one that's sitting there on the dashboard is from alan or adams same same idea it's a detail spray so same stuff same type of thing pick your poison um, there's many many detail sprays on the market that you can use for this and that's it really is how i clean these in between like a full wash. So using ammonia tends to haze it, especially don't, you know, paper towels, big no-no paper towel, use a microfiber towel, some sort of soft towel. 
and you'll keep them things pretty clear. So that's really it for that one, right? She's looking good. This one here, also brand new. Well, the other one's not brand new, but this is brand new. It's a little dusty, so I'm going to clean this one up using that same method. We'll probably dust off the body using that same method. And then pretty much give it back. There is a small scratch in this one right here. Camera picking it up. So I've been fiddling around trying to get an angle here, but you could see the scuffing here. Everything else on this windshield is brand new, but then I even just touched it with my finger and you see how it's hazed. So these windshields are susceptible to hazing pretty quickly. So that's why no ammonia, no paper towels, please. So we will fix this little guy up first before we jump over into this bigger haze mess on this one that we're going to see if we can clean up. There are scratches and stuff all over this guy, which we'll pop it all the way off. And uh, I'll show you what I do to resurrect these guys. So there's obviously a ton of different materials out there that you can use to try and do this. The Meguiar's makes a drill buffer, it's kind of an orbital, but it's smaller than a you know full orbital um, that you can just hook right up to your drill doesn't necessarily cost too, too much. So you just do that and then that'll do some buffing. I have this Swirl Killer Mini from Adams Polishes. I don't know why I was on an Adams kick for a little while. I bought this, it takes a lot of fine scratches out of paint. And um, I, I've been using it for these windshields. I used it a little bit to polish the frame rails on Ron, um, but you can get these replacement pads from Meguiar's. This is probably available at your auto parts store. Uh, in that polishing aisle. I did just order the Adam stuff on um, Amazon because they weren't so commonly in the auto parts stores at the time, but they're a little bit more common. Um, Adams does a good job of, you know, really dumbing it down for you. The pads are labeled. That one is the wax, or if you're just doing wax or sealant, the white is polish. The blue is compound. Uh, but then they have an even more, uh, they have a more aggressive compound polisher pad. So you can use that too. Um, and then they also color code the stuff, right? So, oh, the blue is with the blue. The white is polished, which goes with the white. I mean, they may, they really dumb it down. Uh, and then we've got the regular wax. So I like, I like their products at this point. Again, this is not a paid advertisement. I get, I got no sponsors, just me. Anyway, uh, so let's try and get that little scratch out of this front windshield first. And then we'll get, we'll get that really, we'll get that other windshield in here and knock that out. So the Adams pads will adhere to this McGuire's little, little guy. I don't know, a lot of reflection here, but the scratch is gone. I know I've been having a hard time showing it to you, but trust me, it's gone. So after you do the compound though, I've got to put some polish on it because it does fade it out some. So now we'll smooth it back down with some polish and this guy should be ready to roll and give it back. All right, cool. That's it. We'll clean it back up with the detail spray just to get any residual off. So scratch gone. So quickly before I run this card in, just a coat of the VIN. It is a 2002 G16. It is gas. Um, I 
tend to favor the electrics recently. Uh, but she is gas, runs good for them. Uh, picked it up on Marketplace. We've been talking about some updates and so forth to do. We've got a lot of lights in this one. It's all lit up at night. It's a lot of fun. He's got plenty of lights in it. Again, you can see how cloudy the windshield is, though. So there was one night recently where we, you know, just tried an area on it. We might blow this one apart someday and repaint it. We are going to be doing seats, so look for it in the future. Uh, this back seat, the wood on it is pretty rotted. It's gone. Uh, he has new seat covers for it. So we're going to do some seat covers on it. I mean, we've got lights all over it. It lights up a whole field when we're going through um, this one area of our neighborhood. So we'll pop this whole windshield off. I'll tape off a section of it so we can see the before and after. Um, any questions on it, obviously let me know. But we're going to be probably breaking into this one fairly soon uh, and trying to clean her up a little bit more. Uh, he's done some things to it. That light is super bright uh, at night. Works really good for him. So, all right, let's get this guy off. So with it down, we've got some work to do. We'll polish this baby up. First round of polish complete. Now I can still see some of those scratches here. So I'm going to go after this area here again. From about here to here. Mm -hmm. So let's get after those. See if I can get those out before I polish it up. buff side there's our buff side and that's with two of the panes down I pull that tape huh so that's with the windshield down not bad right I mean, there you go. We can see out of that thing now. So I hope it's coming across on camera as well as it come, comes across in person. So I'm going to bust that down and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. We'll, you know, even it all out, get it reinstalled. We'll see you in a second. Just like that, we're going to be back. All right, so quick update. I had had it pretty much polished up. I thought we were done. I was reinspecting it again. I found some more hairline cracks, not cracks, scratches. So I went after it with uh, this different pad, which cuts a little bit heavier uh, than the foam pad. So I've been working that for a few minutes. I'm going to keep going with that. I see a couple more right here. I'm going to go after those with this pad. Uh, just keep working it. Um, you know, to get the best results, you might have to 
make a few attempts at it because you put it up. Oh, it looks good. And then I'm um, finding little ones here and there. But uh, we're going to clean it up as best we can here. I'm going to keep going and uh, see where we can get with it. I'm pretty satisfied so far, but take it a little bit further. <laughs> So I had to turn the speed up too. Oh yeah, that cut those hairline ones out of it. So, you know, depending on your comfort level, you can go heavier. I mean, this Adam stuff that I'm using is really fairly idiot proof. You really, I have burned through clear a little bit on a high spot on a panel one time, but I was really working it and I wasn't checking what I was doing. But as far as this instance here, I think it'd be kind of difficult to hurt it. That looks really good. Yeah, that really, that did it up nice. brackets in the sink to see what we get out of these as far as uh, dirt and stuff before I stick them on that freshly polished glass well plastic get a lot of debris in here Windshield buffing complete. So that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you found it useful. Buffing, polishing, a little bit of a spray detailer helped this windshield out a ton. You can see through it whether or not a windshield's up or both panes are down. You can see through that a lot better. Hope it's coming out on camera for you. We are going to feature my buddy's cart. A couple more videos coming. Seats, he's already got the covers for those. We want to do a couple of things with the floor. This body might get pulled out this winter, but that's a long way off. Uh, but we got a lot of, he's got a lot of plans for it. So we'll try to feature as many of those as possible for you. If you're enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe so you can see those future restoration scenarios in the DIY help camp. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.